Well, um, I think we have the most resilient and fittest Navy uh, the country's ever seen. We know we're getting the, uh, uh, the most highly qualified recruit by any objective analysis. Um, uh, AFQT score, traditional education background, technical savvy, language capability. We've never been here before. But I think we've now given our folks the tools they need um, uh, to stay at that heightened level of resilience throughout their career. And uh, we talk about, uh, I'll use a physical fitness example. Um, uh, couple, not too far back, I had an uh, opportunity to sit down with the, uh, the, Mick, the Mick Ponson S Symposium, the Master Chief Petty Officers. Um, from across the Navy's uh, biggest commands. And, you know, I shared with them that I think 20 years ago that room would have looked very different. You're probably aware of the old stereotypes of, uh, you know, the Master Chief Petty Officer. Um, I always think about 20 years ago when I showed up on my first command and it was time to run the PRT. And um, uh, we had a command Master Chief who, who was one of those rabbits. He lapped the whole command, you know, uh, by a half mile. And he did the whole thing while smoking a cigarette. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Now we're just so much savvier and know so much more about taking care of ourselves year round. It's a Navy that, uh, that requires uh, a, a culture of fitness every day to execute at this level, not just surviving two, RP, two PRT tests a year. And that day with the, uh, the Mick Pond Symposium, it was easy to see the impact it's having.